Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I did make three videos earlier. They were all recorded like simultaneously. That's why there really isn't a start or finish to any of them, really. And well, here we are again. So I figured, well, it is a bit laggy, especially when you just loaded it. Uh, even if you actually like have played it before well especially when you have played it before and you just reload a save file it, it gets a bit laggy come on there we are so we should probably head on up here now one of the main reasons why I actually decided to make another video is because I never really covered everything. I mean, I probably won't be able to cover everything in this game here by in this, but hopefully I'll be able to cover a bit more in this one. Because there is still some stuff that is actually not that self-explanatory. So yeah, I just f caught some fish and, and now I'm gonna eat them and, well, drink them. So yeah. Now last time we built this uh, tiny little base but really what we actually kinda need is um, to find some of these blueprints that are scattered all over the place and we got this scanner to do it with. So you can actually scan like anything. You can even scan fish like this scary fish you scanned it and uh, you can actually scan these things too not sure what they are really but you can scan them so there's that another little lag spike probably because I haven't actually been at this place before it's a gasopod I guess they're called that because they fart at you yeah see all that And we got it. So let's head on down here and see what this stuff is. A cre creature eggs. That could be one of those actually. Well, I'll have to see once we can build enough to actually get an aquarium. Which we actually need glass for, so we'll have to get the quartz that is here. Crap. No, not this. Oh. Oh my god, I did not expect to survive that. <sighs> so, yeah, like I said, we need to get some of the um, blueprints. Now, blueprints are these uh, little cubes you can find. Or, if you're lucky and find places like this, you can actually find certain stuff that you can actually scan, such as this desk when you scan it completely you can build it so it's not like with blueprints where you need to find more than one as long as you find a whole desk you can scan it and same goes for this chair and fifty percent sixty seventy eighty ninety one hundred how about this no nope, can't and i think actually we can't get anything more in here and even if we can, running out of oxygen, so better get up. Whew. Well, so down there is a bit too deep, so we're not gonna go all the way down there. But this is pretty much, um, you know, prime location here. Let's try to find some stuff here. and. Yeah, I might have already covered those, but don't mess with these things. They are horrible. You can actually scan them, so there's that. And done. So... Might want to go up a little bit. Fragments usually aren't that rare, so shouldn't be that hard to find some. Mm 
Well, that looks like a fragment right there. Yeah, it's a Seamoth fragment, so let's get it. So we need two more fragments before we unlock the Seamoth. But there are other things we might want to unlock before the Seamoth. The Seamoth is a pretty good vehicle that you can actually use. It's a one-man submarine that is pretty freaking awesome. But it's also pretty hard to make. Oh, okay. Well, let's try not to swim too close to that. And a Sea Glide Fragment. Now, these, these are the ones we want. Is that one? No, that's a Solar Panel Fragment. That's also a Fragment we really, really want. And yeah, you actually do tend to find these a lot more in uh, in these forest places, creepvine forests. But they are also one of the mo more dangerous places that we can actually visit because these stalkers that lurk here are actually pretty dangerous, especially at the moment since we really don't have an effective way of getting away from them. But hopefully, once we get the sea glider, or sea glide, whatever, that will all change. And yeah, that's a uh, stalker. Let's just hope it does not swim after us. There's another one, and there's a third one, and yeah, let's just try to get out of there. So there should be there should be more fragments here. There is one, for instance. It's a seamoth fragment. It's not bad, but it's not really what I wanted. Thought I saw one of those um, stalkers swimming there, but I guess I was wrong. There, however, is one. So let's swim away from there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go up to the surface, but we did make some progress during this dive. We actually found a seamoth fragment. Uh, this looks like a dangerous cave. Let's swim down into it. Okay, if we want to be down here, we should probably get some way of moving forward faster and or uh, a light source of some kind. But we almost swam through the entire cave, so really I guess there wasn't actually any problem. <laughs> Felt kind of creepy though. I mean, that cave could have gone on for how long? I mean, I, it could have gone on for so long. We would have been un unable to get oxygen, and then we would have died, and everything would have been just bad. So yeah, actually, it just goes so much slower when you don't actually have any kind of tool or anything that actually allows you to move forward. And this cave is actually really cool. So... Let's... Is that a fragment? Looks like a fragment. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Now that, that is something that we want a whole lot. You see, you need to actually build that thing before you can get the Seamoth. But once you got get, get it up and running, building the Seamoth really isn't that hard, so... And there's another. Ah, but I already unlocked the Seamoth. So, now we unlock the Seamoth blueprints. So, let's just see here. Check the uh, data bank. No? No, the blueprints. Here we are Seamoth. So, it requires a whole lot of stuff. But, once you can actually. Once you actually build it, it's really worth it. And, once you get. Uh, unlock a blueprint, you actually get titanium instead of uh, blueprint parts. 
So that's pretty cool actually, you can get a lot of free free uh, titanium from blueprints that you already have. How much space do I have left? Not oh, quite a lot. So let's swim around. I think I need one more sea glide um, fragment. Not sure, but I think I need one more. I really don't like those things. But they do give crash powder, which is pretty good, honestly. It's a pretty rare resource, seeing as that's the only way to actually get it. So. Mm -hmm. And that stalker is after me right now, right? Yeah. And I actually died. So, yeah, I probably lost a whole lot of quartz. So, yeah. But, with that, I should actually have enough resources to build another wall locker. And... done. So I'll just call it locker for now, because I don't really know what I'm going to put in it. Mm -hmm. So, there are two of those things there. That is terrifying. Let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know it's just outside my base, but still, still terrible, still very terrifying. So, where is that? Well, we could try to find another of those forests. Shouldn't be that hard to find, honestly. So there was actually something I discovered once I uh, once when I was well when I was playing single player. Uh, well, not this is single player, yes, but whatever. When I was playing alone on my other world, the first one I made, it actually turns out that uh, well I didn't know this, but I should have seen it coming essentially. These are not different worlds. They do not generate a whole new world every time you create a new world. They are actually the exact same just spawn at different places. So yeah. There's that. And there is that, which is a Seamop fragment. Yay. That was a bleeder. Don't really know what it is, but it did not look friendly, but whatever. Did not want to attack me either, so what is this? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Nice. It took me so long to find the three of those in, uh, well, when I was playing without uh, commentating. It took so freaking long to find that. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's scan this creep find too, why not? So, but even if we do get the sea moth like first, we still kind of want the uh, glide, the sea glider thingy, because it's uh, a personal thingy. You have it actually in your toolbar, so you can bring it out at any moment, and you can bring it with you no matter where you are. So that is pretty awesome, because if you are in your sub and you are really deep down and you want to go out and explore something well it's uh, very good to have some place to actually well not some place something to actually use and this place looks really dangerous sea glide fragment fragment scanned unlocked <laughs> so this place looks pretty big pretty open and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if there is a big creature here one or more it could be like a big uh, dangerous thing or it could be in a, one of the whales as I call them but they're not really whales because they're more more jellyfish like I don't know it's hard hard to say and there's in fact another fragment there let's see what it is another seamoth fragment sure why not I really need the titanium so whatever 
Titanium isn't hard to find or hard to get, it's just really annoying that you have to get it all the time. But it's used for a whole lot of stuff, so it's very useful. Yeah, nighttime approaches. Uh, so yeah, that's that is bad. Whenever it is night and it's really dark out, like in this game, I can get pretty freaking spooked by my own body parts because I'm not actually used to actually being able to see my body parts in the game. I mean, who really is? I mean, other than your hands, of course. Like, you don't usually see your feet when you play video games. So, what was it I was gonna make? Don't remember. I can make some titanium. Uh, no, not any more than that. So, now I remember. So, for this I need a battery, lubricant, and copper wire. Copper wire is not that hard to get, you just need two copper. And, well, the other things were not hard to get either. I already have, like, super much copper here, so. So let's make a copper wire. There's that done. I think I need a battery, yep, and a lubricant. So, those are pretty easy to get. But I can't right now. I need to put some stuff away. I need to put some titanium in here. <laughs> 